Insects in the Garden, the good, the bad, and the just plain ugly. Your garden should have a mix of many varieties of insects. Be very cautious using any chemical pesticides. They could upset the balance. Here you can see a black swallowtail butterfly. Here's how you can keep your garden growing, keeping the good and the bad bugs in check. Good, rich, healthy soil is a must. Inspect daily. Look underneath the leaves as well as the top and especially the growing tips to make sure they are free of insects and damage. Don't overcrowd your veggies. This can encourage insects and you might miss them when you're inspecting them. Do not plant the same veggies in the same spot for at least three seasons. In a greenhouse that usually means for about one full growing season which would be a full calendar year. Water in the morning and try not to splash soil on the leaves. This could actually cause some fungal or other disease problems. And plant herbs and flowers in your garden beds. That helps confuse the bugs and it allows them also to bring in pollinators. Here you can see a balanced garden, a mix of not only vegetables but flowers throughout. Beneficial insects are those that offer value to the garden from a human perspective. They help in the production of the vegetables or fruits. Pollinators, predators, and garden aesthetics could all be considered criteria for beneficial insects. Here you can see a honeybee. Of course, we know the benefits of the honeybee. It is a pollinator. You may not find honeybees in the greenhouse garden, but you definitely see some types of flying insects that will be pollinating because the doors may be kept open during the growing season. It is often common to see bumblebees inside a greenhouse and those are very helpful in pollinating squash and pumpkin varieties. And here you can see the bumblebee. Houseflies can also be pollinators. So when we think of houseflies as just those nasty little critters in your house, these are also very important in pollinating as well. Now here you can see some butterflies, and yes, butterflies do pollinate, but sometimes in the larval stage, they can be harmful to some plants. Here you can see the black swallowtail, and that is its caterpillar below. It will eat parsley or all the parsley relatives, such as dill and carrots. Some moths are also pollinators, but again, their larval stage can be harmful to some plants. Here you can see a sphinx or a tomato hornworm moth and below you can see the caterpillar. It can actually eat quite a few leaves in one evening on tomato plants especially. If you find these, just pick them off. Ladybugs have always been known as that good beneficial insect. And yes, they are predators and they eat aphids and they eat a lot of aphids. That is their favorite fruit. Below you can see the larval stage of the ladybug. If you see these, Leave them alone because they're on the hunt and they will eat plenty of aphids before they mature into the beetle that you see above. The European paper wasp is also a predator. It looks very much like the yellow jacket below. However, you can see it has a thin waist. It builds paper nests unlike the yellow jacket. And the European paper wasp does feed on caterpillars. So although you may not like wasps, this one will actually help control those caterpillars in your garden and in your greenhouse. Now if you haven't seen these lace wings, they are there. They're very small, perhaps about the size of a grain of rice, maybe just a little bigger at times. They're also predators, and in the larval stage, their favorite foods are aphids and white fly nymphs. They are very beneficial. Some greenhouse growers actually buy these and introduce them inside the greenhouse when they notice they have pests. Small wasps also can be pollinators and predators. Look for them on warm mornings, hovering around your plants with small flowers. Above you can see some coriander flowers. And yes, they do eat quite a few insects. Even though they're quite small, they have quite an impact on your garden and in your greenhouse. 
Now I know we may think of spiders as something that we don't wish to have in our greenhouse or in our garden, but they are excellent predators. They eat both beneficial and harmful insects, but it is good to make sure that you don't harm the spider population. Now here are some harmful insects, at least from a human perspective. Those white butterflies that you see are cabbage butterflies. The caterpillar, as you see above, is called a cabbage worm, and it will do damage to not only cabbage, but also broccoli and its relatives, such as the mustard and in the mustard family. So if you see these on the leaves, look for them, pick them off, and you should be okay. Now you can see this Mexican bean beetle looks very similar to a ladybug, but it's a little more orange. And you can see what it does to the bean leaf. The larval stage, and also the adult, chews through the insect and it skeletonizes the leaf. The eggs are down on the right and you can see they're yellow and in clusters. These are harmful. When you see these, pick them off or remove those leaves and remove them from your greenhouse or your garden. If you're growing spinach and you're noticing this type of spot on your leaf, it is most likely the spinach leaf miner. A larval form bores into the leaves of the spinach. You can see the little white eggs laid on the underside of the leaf. They're just about a, like a speck of sand underneath there. Now if you see those, just pick those leaves off. They shouldn't be too bad and usually the spinach leaf miner does considerable damage if left unchecked. But I think you can control this just by pruning your plants when you see this appear. Now here are some pictures of some insects that are just plain ugly. Here you can see a katydid, close up and personal. And this is a cicada, the ones that make all the noise in the trees in the summer. And a dragonfly. This is a praying mantis, note the compound eyes. And this is one of those uh, bald-faced hornets. And here's a picture of a little fly. And yes, that looks like a mosquito. And here's another fly. And yes, there's another close-up of a mosquito. Well, listen, remember, insects, both good and bad, are in your garden. The thing is, and the secret is, is to keep them in check, keep them in balance, and be vigilant. Watch your garden every day, check to see if there's damage, and do the best to control them. The best insecticide of all is a careful garden watch. But the second best insecticide is to make sure you have good, rich soil. The third is, Gently spray them or pick them off your plants. Spray them with water is first. Spray them with a gentle stream of water to wash them off or gently pick them off. Well, this is Larry and happy gardening.